Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made them Not everything they used to look at me Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through Now you hit your face And you look at me Look at me What's good with y'all? I. So, what are we getting into today? <laughs> All right, man, so today we're about to be heading to Dee's garage. Uh, I think our boy Black Aaron's supposed to be meeting us over there. He has Yellow Bee, he's been driving that thing. He has some stuff to do to that. But I'm about to be going over there. I gotta get my trailer fixed. And I'm just taking y'all with me today, man. So you guys know that lately I've been posting like every single day, damn near. Back to my old routine and just trying to vlog on a daily, man. Just getting back into the to the rhythm of things. Uh, for a minute, I've just been, it was times where I had my daughter all the time and just a lot of stuff was coming up. But right now I'm literally, literally on like a cleanse, isolating myself from everybody. Uh, told Nita to take my daughter. So I'm just, I'm just in my mode. I just want to work, stay distracted. Uh, for those that know me, man, y'all know that my way of being distracted is really by, by working. So when I was younger, my distraction was art, drawing, and now that I'm adult, my distraction is pretty much the same artistic standpoints, but the cars are now blank canvases to me, and that's my way of being distracted. But yeah, man, when I'm feeling like some type of way, just got a lot of shit going on, my way of dealing with it is just being busy as hell, dealing with my cars because at the end of the day, that is like my mental distraction. That is like how I cope with everything. So yeah, there's been so, so much going on. I'm sorry if I'm about to open up to y'all and just kind of, you know, fill y'all in on some shit without filling y'all in on some shit. So <laughs> bear with me. If you've seen like the last couple videos you guys seen, obviously me and Nita went our separate ways uh, currently. We're both kind of just stepping away from each other. So you have people that are like, people are making their own narrative. Y'all are saying, y'all are saying wild shit. You guys seen that I went more private with my relationships and just, I just felt like that was just the move to do, man. A lot of times if I was doing stuff with us and people were like, oh, bro, wanna see that, we wanna see car content. And then I just noticed like people would be all in our shit and I was just like, you know what? I even stopped the family channel. I, I stopped posting on the family channel just because I wanted, I wanted privacy for my daughter and all that stuff. I didn't want her to be like one of them YouTube kids and like, I just didn't want that for my baby. So that's why I stopped with the family channel. That's why I kind of stopped posting uh, them and shit. It's just, it just became a lot, man. So. I'm sorry, like, I'm, I'm probably the worst, like, I'd be having all this stuff in my head that I want to say, but then when it comes out to trying to articulate it, it just doesn't come out how I want to say it. Like, I'm not the best talker, so, you know, like, my mind be racing at a million, a million miles per second, and then it's just like, when I get ready to say some shit, like, it doesn't come out how I want to come out, how, how I want it to come out, but, yeah, just, just know, man, like, mental health check for everybody. Uh, I'm good. I just been staying distracted. You guys seen that I've been literally waking up probably at like three, four in the morning. Follow Instagram, you'll see I'm waking up in the middle of the night doing edits. Like times where I'm not really getting no sleep, but gotta gotta stay busy. Gotta stay busy. Am I feeling crazy or anything? Like nah. I just wish people understood how much that I really juggled. Like everybody just sees what I throw in front of them on camera, but. Behind the scenes, no one really understands like how much behind the scenes shit that I deal with. Just juggling everything, everything. So I'm not gonna get on here and be like, oh bro, like, this is what I do. Like, I don't care, just know like, um, I juggle, I juggle everything. When you're the face of it, when you're the one making the money, everything falls on you. Whether it comes from taking care of people, making sure everybody else is good, making sure all your own stuff is good, like, that's just, that's just what it is. Like people are like, you need to take a break, take a vacation, just do something. Like we'll always be here. It's just like in this lifestyle, honestly, you can't take a break. I haven't taken a break in how long has it been? Even when I go on vacation, I'm vlogging, taking y'all with me. So just taking a break for me just ain't really the answer. Taking a break for me just would be like, I'm just being trapped in my thoughts. So the way to avoid that, I literally just stay busy, keep interacting with y'all, because a lot of the times in the comment section, people are DMing me like, bro, like I fuck with you, keep your head up and I love that shit. And that kind of just keeps me distracted and keep me going. So with that being said, man, I don't want to ramble on. I know y'all want to see Granny. Let me show y'all her real quick. And then we're going to be off uh, to get this trailer fixed. But 
Yeah, let me show y'all granny real quick. Hello, old lady. Hello. Everybody said they ain't seen you, they want to see you. Say hi to the people. Hello, everybody. Tell them you've been in and out the hospital for like the last, what, what was it, four, five, six times this month? So you, yes. still got, you still got your hospital bracelet on? That's what can happen when you settle on I can't help it. <laughs> I don't know that shit about blogging. All right, so y'all can see what happened. I don't think this is gonna fly out. I think it should be fine. But yeah, this one need to get fixed. Get my little chingadera right here done. So hopefully my guy Dark can walk this back up for me real quick, and then you know we'll be back to having a fully functioning trailer. Oh, hope I don't lose my ramp. I should take it out and throw it in the back of the truck. You know what I'm saying? We're getting, we're getting better at this. So you know I drive a truck and trailer now. Y'all believe he pulled that trailer in from here? How much room we got? <laughs> good, good, good. Remember he said he used to move all the cars out the drive. Yeah, we don't move them. Oh, damn, boy, leg day. Baby deer legs. Look, we got in here. I don't want to hear you say nothing. Hey, what's this? Hey, about? this probably like my. Later. It's like my. It's only like my. Probably like six or seventh time moving the trailer. Yeah. Fast learner. Pretty soon I'm gonna be sliding, whipping this mother back in here. Yeah. All right, we in this thing. My guy darted. About to do some darted. Dart it up. Grab my little door. See, I put the ramp in there. <laughs> Almost risked the biscuit though. Cause I was like, man, I think it'll be fine. D ain't that far, but I was like, it'll be suck to lose the ramp right after you getting it fixed. Oh my legs, boy. Leg day. You know, I'm trying not to have chicken legs out here in these streets. I mean, you're proportionate though. I can't be hella top heavy. Looking like a straight up Maria. Ma Maria Palayo. Oh, Dart broke it. He was like, boop, like, bruh. It's cool. But luckily, we know a guy that can fix it. Am I supposed to register a trailer? I haven't registered this thing. I haven't registered it, though. I got the pink slip. The truck's in my name. I'll just keep it like, bro, I just got it. I mean, I'll just keep the pink slip with me. Yeah. Well, lucky we don't got a smog our trailers. Oh, look, here you go, chasing on my sh. Oh, man. Chasing I, it out. I just posted a uh, video too on the ground. That was a big old chunk I took out. Showed you why I do it. So, we just found out too, because D has a 308 block that we were talking about swapping. And he was like, oh, never mind. My block got cast pistons. And luckily, right here, this block has forged pistons. Factory. Factory forged. We didn't even know. So, this is what, probably a Cobra block? Uh, no, so anything that's 89 through 92 has all fours, but 93 is where they did the uh, cast pistons. So. I don't get, where, where do these blocks usually crack at? Um, I've only seen, personally I've seen once where they just cracked right here at the coolant gallery, but I don't know if that was just someone over torquing it, but possibly down here, maybe that's why they put the girdle on so you can take it out in one piece. <laughs> So I'm, as I'm looking, it's like, brother, like it's a cast block and like it looks thick. I don't see like where it would crack at. 
I'm bringing the time here with the, uh, just the main area and stuff like that will end up. I mean the two yeah, bowls versus the four bowl mains. Yeah, I exactly. see that. There's some scarring on the piston and stuff like that, but shit, it was running before. Put some new bearings on it and send her. I'm just glad it got forged pistons already. I wonder if my uh my green car got forged pistons too. That would have been white. Because even when I talked to my machine shop and I asked him the pistons, he's like, oh he was like, don't throw booze if you do, you can only throw like four pounds up there. That's a grenade in it. <laughs> He said, don't put no 14, you just told me. I was like, yeah, yeah, we're doing that. We'll keep the old ass motor then. Uh, so we pretty much just refreshing it. This literally went from, like, hey, we're gonna just swap the head gaskets to, bro, I'm pulling this shit out now, he's about to clean it. Taking a, yeah, it was leaking oil all the time, and look at the oil pan. That's probably why the little oil pressure here, look. You know, it just comes off. All that's going inside the pickup screen, blocking oil pressure. Are these oh, the factory pans that just painted yeah, like this? factory pans. So after so long, the coating just finally falls apart. You want to upgrade the pan? We can upgrade it. Well, if we're going to put the girdle, I think we have to. All right. So we can do a uh, like a baffle style pan. I think you got one on uh, the green car. Green car, yeah. yeah. That's what I used to have back in the day on all my cars. Yeah, we'll do that. Also, we need an oil cooler. <laughs> yeah. Oil pressure be like 10, 10 PSI after like four or five runs. Well, you seen the bearing. I sent you that bearing, it was all copper. Bruh, so, I'm surprised this thing ain't started knocking. All the abuse and dogging this thing went through. <laughs> these little five, these little five O's, bro. People be talking shit on, but I'm, I'm a believer. Keep them around 500. Mm. Yeah, beat the life out this thing because we definitely sat it on the limiter. It ain't got 250 degrees, shooting fire, manifolds, all red. Fill it up with some more water and do another road. Bruh. <laughs> the whole time at the. Uh, Blight the motor hot as hell, refilling it with cold water. Burning ourselves. <laughs> We be breaking 500 now though with the new cam. Oh yeah, D's also upgrading the camo here. This thing had an E-cam, so he wants to put, he wants to put an Anderson. No, we're doing the Anderson uh, B31, but the HR, so at least it could be in the high res, so they'll lower the lope a little bit, but you could be in the high res, you ain't gotta take off of it. I think this thing definitely needed uh, valve springs. I think it was undersprung, because yeah. I wanna say we lowered the limiter because the uh, valves are floating. We we're sending it on the dyno, so. Putting some stiffer springs in here, cam that a red fire, you know, send this thing to seven grand. <laughs> see see if this block crack. Right. show all day. Because when I talked to dude, this, this was similar to one of their combos that they did years ago when they were tested. And it was good. I think they made like five, 507 and like, oh shit. I, I think with it all fresh, bigger cam, I think we'll, we'll be for sure in the five something. So they broke 507 and like it was like four something torque. I forgot how much four Shit, we made four four like four ninety with four sixty torque, so yeah. anything over what we already had is just gonna be fun. Like it already does what it does. Exactly. So That's we'll keep this nice. keep the same boost, just yeah. you recommend doing a different intake manifold? Or do you wanna uh, keep the trick flow? Nah, the trick flow is good. The only you know they got the uh the R. The R nah. Because then we kind of want the, the, the lower pins anyway instead of making it hella high. That yeah. would be fine. If, what would be nice is if we were able to have some trick flow heads. Because that's what uh, they even said. Like, yeah, we did it with trick flows. Like, man, we tried. Just, there was none available. I couldn't find none. Exactly. The Edelbrox so, were the only thing I could find. Yeah, so he's like, oh, it'll still be fine. He was like, you know what I mean? Of course, you get a little bit, but. I really want the AFRs. The oh, 175s? Yeah. Those are, or the 170s? Yeah. Or what are they? 165s? They have, no, they have one the small ones. 165. The 165s. Those are the ones I wanted. Yeah, yeah. I wanted the 165s, but I couldn't find none. Yeah. Fox body parts are hella hard to find, so we just had to. It's like, fuck it. We want to do some heads. All we find is the Edelbrox, and we wasn't going the GT40, the GT40 X route. So, nah, nah. Edelbrox it was. Edelbrox still go though. I've had quite a few setups. And they definitely. It's about to be clean. Man, Migs and. <sighs> Almost, I don't want to shave the engine bay. No, no, no shave. I'm like, so <laughs> So I'm anti shave engine bay only because I think of heat with this car. Like, now you're trapping the heat more. At least with all the holes in there right now, you just fade in the heat, but it is getting, it is getting painted though. We are going to paint the bed. At least that. Uh, at least paint the bed. For sure. I'm going to order that, what's the name? I'm going to order that other Holly Dash. Oh, the 12 inch? Yeah. That thing is definitely nice. It's, it's, it's like, right in your face, like, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hot. You see this? Hot. Smack dead in your face. The little screen. I'll be over there, like, what did I, say? I, can't, I can't see it, but why is this? Oh, never mind. It's hot. This little yellow indicator definitely means slow it down. Yeah. 
Deal be here for an hour rechasing. I'm surprised he even reassembling the 5-0. I'm surprised he's like, bro, put an LS in it. He hates doing 5 0s now. He love, it's a love hate relationship. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be doing all this. With all the little things I found on it, but at least you understand. Something goes, you know, we're already pushing. Pretty much doing a junkyard build right now and just open it up. According, you know according I mean? to the way the internet thinks, the moment it blows up, I'm gonna blame you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Then he's dropping me, and then I go bad, and then he's gonna air me out. All the shit, like everybody says. Dino, Dino's behind the scene. I think we're fine. Wouldn't be doing this, or was it? It's my my drift buddy anyway. The only person that wants to come drive with me. Man, these do only have two, bruh. You got 351 block? No, no, no. <laughs> no 351? I'm doing the, uh, the girdle. That's extra insurance. I'm gonna order the girdle today. And I got a list of stuff, so I'll throw all that in there. You clean the pistols already? Yeah. They want to come much cleaner. Normally they come out a lot cleaner. Are you taking it right now? Kind of, yeah. What's that? I'll put it on tape. I can't guarantee this, but I'll do the best I can. <laughs> Dar's like, let me do some, let me do some, uh, what you call it, damage control right now. Wanna, I might, maybe, hey, maybe I should do a double lock on it then. Well, the, the shit's all beat, get beat up, so I clamped it all together and I'll weld it and I'll see if I can get on the sides to keep it coming. What a, hey, can you can you put a, hey, can you put a tack on my exhaust on my tra uh, on my truck too while we here? <laughs> yeah, okay. I got swap. No, is it stainless? Yeah, it's stainless. Yeah, stainless. Yeah, I probably could. That, that should be. Even if you use the, the mig just to put the tack. We just need to tack it. I just use that. Bro, the cross hatching isn't like in the cylinder walls doesn't look bad. Like you can still see the machining on it. No, nah, so, the only one that's really bad. Are you, are you on that side? Right here. That's one of them is. Uh, so this one, I can see the no, the scoring at the top. Look how bad that scoring is. I don't know if you know. This might be too bright. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it right here. Oof. You can feel it. Yeah. That's like the worst. I think that's the worst one on the top and the uh, bottom. Even the top side got a little bit, but the bottom's the worst. There's probably some debris in it. Uh, it's usually where the it. it's usually where the ring lands touch too. Mm -hmm. Whatever. This is more black. And I was like, damn, I'd rather like to get them a little bit cleaner, but well, there's no carbon or nothing on it. I mean, last time we checked, we had compression. That's all that matter. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot more better oil pressure now too. <laughs> Shit. Look at Dart over here doing ghetto shit. <laughs> Why's it moaning? It's a, it's a spool gun. So like normally you run AC and you just TIG weld it. This thing's DC and it forces the aluminum in there, but it, hmm. it's not, it's how they build these things. But I mean, this isn't a $40,000 spool gun for building trailers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever, it's a wrap, it'll hold. I think your wells are uh, better than the ones that's on there. I'm pretty sure they had this thing tacked. So this is this is also Dart's M3 right here. He almost crashed it trying to do donuts. We ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't here to see it. Shit. I've never fucking hurt you. You wouldn't have. What are you doing, idiot? Like, you better weld this or I'm, I'm posting this video. You better dart it. <laughs> you better dart this or I'm blackmailing you forever. Speaking of the devil, we got our boy. I'm about to buy this nigga some hood pins, bro. I'm so tired of this one hood pin. Definitely about to order my nigga some hood pins right now. <laughs> he tried to, hey, Nikki. Oh, you're so sweaty, Aaron. Oh, <laughs> bro, you know you've been, you've been like my day one since you know we were kids, and you kind of express your your heart to me oh. when we're on the yacht. No, I, I was kind of gay that day. So you know. <laughs> so we got to Yeah. Bro, I'm about to order you some hood pins. Right. right now, I'm literally about to go in here and order them. Black ones. 
I'm gonna order you the push the push buttons. Hey, when you go and be like, tink, tink. Tink, tink. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see these skills? Who you think pulled this in here? Man, I see you. Nigga, oh, oh, I'm outside. Down now, huh? Yeah, deep, deep better watch out. Boy, practicing. He at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ain't got yeah. nothing else to do, but hey, now, now when I pull in, I don't got him. I don't, I don't got to move to six four nothing. In my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna tear up my neighbor's plants before I tear up my uh, my car. So I just get hella far on his side. Be driving all on his plants and shit. I'm like, hey, I'm a little too high up. Already on the cars already. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, bruh. You need to come over. You see all this shit still loaded in the back of the truck? God dang, bro. How you that lazy, lazy bro? Lazy. <laughs> this nigga hey, Aaron and Aaron has spoiled me. This nigga called me real fast. Hey, can you come to the house once I get there? Yeah, bro. Uh, I need you to move this and do that. <laughs> I pay you. <laughs> hey, I pay you. True, true. You don't have to, but he do. <laughs> I be paying you. I'm like, here, we only got a couple things to move from the shed or the garage to the shed. I just want to clean it up and stack the wheels. Three hours later. Three hours later. I'm dirty and like, yep, it's time to go. Wait, it's like $60 an hour. True, true. Got you in the heat. <laughs> it don't even be that hot. We come, he come in the morning. He be getting to my, he gets to my house at nine. I come real. Bro, he gets to my, no, it be like eight in the morning. I, I be, I ain't even took my morning dump yet. He be over there hella early. Bro, he'll he don't even call me. He'll text me and I'll wake up at like 8 30. He'll be like, I'm like, bro, why you didn't call me? Should I text you? Like, bro, it's gonna sit in the car. Should I was smoking anyway? Yeah. Trump here scrubbing this with this shit hella strong. Everyone just wanna know the sauce all the time. Oh, you get it so clean, you get it clean. That's what extra gets it. But this is just some little purple power. Purple power, huh? But straight raw, no cut. <laughs> <laughs> No dilution at all. No soda to it. Hell no. Or nowadays, infamil. <laughs> <laughs> don't fire right, my so, shit back up, nigga. Look, we just found we just found this in here. Oh, it's shaking. Looks like a piece of a piston. Looks like a little cast piece. Maybe this pickup came out of another motor or something. It's definitely not from this one because it definitely looks like a cast piston. So this thing probably blew up or. Whatever this pickup came out of, probably blew up at some point. Come on, focus. There we go. But there's no chunks or anything missing on this motor. You threw all the bearings away already? No, no, they're in there. I'm not gonna take them out until I uh, drive them. Yeah, we're gonna be swapping these bearings out. Oh, the bearings are done. Old school bearing swap. Junkyard. Oh, I did see uh, it was like a little scratch on one of them. Bruh, yeah, that one looked like, look like, like, look like, look like copper. Oh, she looked like a straight man. penny. Yeah, you would notice that there was a piston. Uh, something missing out of one of them things. Yeah, we'd see it on the on the bottom side. Yeah, ain't this motor that had no girdle on it, huh? Nah, this one doesn't have a girdle. We're gonna put a girdle on it just to be on the, the safe side, but nah, these pistons look fine. You would definitely see a, a chunk missing off the lower skirt or something. That's probably from the, they probably use this pickup on a, on a different motor. That's probably what they did when they did that cam swap. Well, they had changed, the, and they changed the oil pan gasket on this thing and the oil pump, but they didn't change the pickup. Too. Yeah. But all that was changed, so. Oh, this, uh, this has an E-cam also. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we're about to take it out. I got a beat in mine. We're taking it out. Beat cam do better than the E-cam. I just got that. Motor. You got your quiet ass exhaust I now. Coming off, though. I already told you I can't do this shit no more. Uh -huh. <laughs> he gonna put a louder exhaust on. Stay ref. Yeah, yeah leave that shit alone. It's cause it it drug on a, a little yeah, thingy thing. I mean, it's better than what it was for sure. It don't look pretty, but it's fucking on there. Hey, as long as it holds, uh, you know what I'm saying, the ramp in there. Shitty angle to get in with the spool gun too. It's cool, I seen, your, I seen your welds, you know? I seen you do clean shit. Look, he like, I'm gonna show you, let me show you. 
I would have rather kid welded it though. Just because that's what I'm used to doing. You know, Darby Land Dimes. <laughs> we just needed it fixed. Thank you, thank you. Wait until we do that 64. Woof! So for those that uh, aren't familiar, you guys remember when we went to go see that Datsun 510 that had the uh, the GTR motor in it? He's the one who did a lot of that fab work. Him and uh, Marcus Fry. Oh my guy Darby getting down. All right, Aaron, gotta get this shit situated. Brakes, bleeding. You got uh, fluid in the master? Yeah. Bro, that's my nipple, bro. What are you doing?